Hello everybody, Bradley Sword here, the Pack Prof, and today I'm going to shill off my new toy. I've been working with this for a few weeks now, and I think it's time to finally show off some of my work. So here, the Super Starter Kit by the company called Eligo. You'll find this for about $30 on Amazon. Uh, what is it inside of the box, of course, is a Arduino microcontroller and a whole ton of fun electronics to, you know, to try out to make it work. And I'll be showing that off in a second here. Uh, like I said, you can get this for $30 on Amazon. You can get a whole ton of different kits. If, you, you know, if you're brand new to this, it makes sense to buy a kit at least to get started. Then you can buy the bits and pieces for your own projects as you get more experienced. So let's open it up and see what we got. Alrighty, so let's open this bad boy up. Just to note, my Arduino and my breadboard are not in here, just because I've been working on them. And I'll show it off in two minutes anyway, so no worries there. So one of the cool things about having such a comprehensive kit like this is you get pictures to go with the actual components in the box, so you're not fumbling around, you know, guessing what's in the box. So... I don't know how good YouTube is going to be at uh, compressing this, so if you can see this or not. But uh, what you get, a whole ton of LEDs, a, a thermistor, transistor, photo cells are fun. I've been playing with lasers. You know, Maybe we'll get to show that off in a couple months when my project is all professionaled up. Push buttons, seven-segment seven displays. Uh, we're going to be showing off the 1602 LCD mo uh, module in a second, along with uh, some push buttons and some LEDs, you know, breadboards, remote controls, because you can actually use a remote control for some of this stuff, uh, tons of wires, because you're going to need that for everything. You need tons and tons of wires. And just you name it, if, you can, you know, if you're interested in knowing exactly what's in the kit, you can either go to the website or go to Amazon to find out. Um, the CD is really cool because it has uh, 23 tutorials for using all the components so you're you know once again you're not guessing or stumbling around the internet trying to find uh, you know trying to find tutorials on how to make all this stuff work um, you could go to the Arduino website to get all the code and libraries but you know the you know a non most up to date version of all that is available on the CD as well so like I said all the pieces are here here's my cable here's some you know I gotta say you're gonna need some wiring here's some wires for you there's my remote control. Those are my resistors back there. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if these came with the. You know, if if, I, if these came with the set or not. But these are some shields. So you know, shields are you know a little more advanced topic. Maybe that's why they don't necessarily come with that. And here is my ultrasonic sensor. And here's this. And here's that. And here's everything you need. So like I said, go to the website if you need more information. So now let me show you what I've actually been working on. So here is the Morse code generator. I'm pretty proud of this project because you know, right out of the box, first project, this thing kind of worked. It took a few hours, but it wasn't overly complicated. And it showed all the bits and pieces I wanted to accomplish. So like I said, this is three tutorials from the PDF file on the CD-ROM. The LED, the push button, and the 1602 LCD monitor. Uh, 16 rows, by, or six, yeah, 16 characters by two rows. Uh, one of the cool things about the Arduino, as you can see here, is it's run by a nine volt battery. So nine volts in, you know, the actual board gets run on five volts. So five volts gets sent through to the various components. So you don't need a lot of power. Like this thing gobbles thing, you know, gobbles power up like crazy. But this thing will still run for hours and hours on end before giving up. Um, so like I said, you know, three tutorials. So like, let's let's just show it off because that's what I'm here for. Um, so Morse code is Morse code. If you need to look up what Morse code is, you know, dot 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 dash dash dash. You know, depend. You know, we don't use it as much anymore as we did back in the day. Uh, my stepdad, when he was in the Navy, he was a communications officer, so he knew all this stuff. Um, if I can get this over by his house one of these days, I can get him to actually test this, and he'll tell me everything that's wrong with it because it's digital and this and that, whatever. It's like I understand this is just meant to be more of a trainer. So if you're, you know, basically if you're just learning how to make this work, just like I am, just if I'm learning Morse code, I can do it this way. You know, basically instead of having to do it on the computer or something, I can actually have something physical I can push button. Okay, so like I said, the only thing I'm good at typing in, I'm not good at my name, I'm not good at anything else, just hello. So I go dot, 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 there's my H, dot is an E, dot, dash, dot, dot is an L, dot, dash, dot, dot is another L, and dash, dash, dash is another, there's my O. So hello everybody, 
that is my demonstration for my uh, Morse code generator. I'd show off the code. Maybe I'll do that here. Um, I don't want to show off too much because eventually I want this to be a project for my more advanced students. But if you absolutely are interested in you know, knowing how the code works, uh, send me an email or send me a message and I'll find a way to get you the uh, file for the Arduino. So there you go. Thanks, everybody. Uh, let's have some fun in future demos. Thanks.